You ever had any music phases? If so, how many and which artists? Cause growing up, I had several. I loved music. When I was a preteen, I was really into Michael Jackson. Rate the t-shirt. Every day after school, I would try to do the moonwalk and I even owned a glove. And did y'all ever play the Michael Jackson game on the Wii? It was like Just Dance but with his music. Me and my cousin would always play it trying to get a high score. That was the peak of being a 2000s kid. Cause every Halloween, I would also dress up as him. Anyways, late 7th through 8th grade, I had a warp tour phase. So I would listen to a lot of hard rock and emo bands like Pierce the Veil and Sleeping with Sirens. It was the kind of music that would make a Hispanic mom go. I even went to two warp tours and I'm surprised I never broke a bone. Maybe I didn't mosh hard enough. I would be a wuss at these festivals. Fast forward to high school, I was more into the 80s and modern indie music. I even have a small cassette collection since I was collecting so many at the time. I got The Police, Michael Jackson, I got Heart. It ain't much, but it's honest work. And now I'd say my music taste is more reggaeton and Spanish rock. Don't sleep on Spanish rock. It's really good. Oh, and earlier this year, I had an Elvis phase. Before the movie came out too. Because now everybody's listening to Elvis. Yes, sir. Rate this mug. My mom loves Elvis and she put me on. And earlier this year when it was her birthday, I got her an Elvis impersonator, which means someone who dresses and sings like the original artist. Not the real artist, because I made a video about this experience, but so many people were confused when I said I got Elvis to perform at my mom's birthday party. What? Hood hit. Isn't Elvis dead? I thought Elvis died. Is that the real Elvis? <laughs> no. No, he was an impersonator. Anyways, I love music and my taste is all over the place. But there was one phase that stood out from the rest that I still haven't talked about. Can you guess what it is? Because I still haven't talked about my early middle school phase. Sixth grade to be exact. And that was Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm proud of that one. Oh, what am I kidding? Homie had some bangers in 2014. Every day on the bus, I would play Ron Weasley on my phone. And this is when I had $5 corner store earbuds. I would have to play around with them to get a good sound. You know, moving the wire around. The struggle was real. And the minute you'd get them to work, you best believe you couldn't move a muscle. Every other month, I would go through a new pair. I learned every Ed Sheeran song by heart. I'd practice his songs on my guitar and record covers and upload them to YouTube. And I'm so mad that I deleted every single one of them. I'll try to find them and when I do, I'll share them with you guys. They gotta be somewhere. I played one of his songs on my middle school talent show too. Oh, and I owned that stage. Voice cracks and everything. My uncle from Guatemala even made a mix tape and he tried to write Ed Sheeran on it but instead wrote En Chire. It was a banger mixtape though. Had like 90 songs on it. There were even some unreleased music. Dio, how did you get these? Anyways, guess who decides to come in 2015 to Gillette Stadium which is only half an hour away from me? This guy! Apparently it was his first stadium show in the US so of course I had to go out and support my boy. So I went with my sister and we bought our tickets last minute. We managed to get floor seats for like 70 bucks each and if you're wondering how we got them for so cheap well this video has been sponsored by <laughs> I wish. There's no sponsorship for this video. Fast forward to the day of the concert, our mom dropped us off at the venue. And she was planning on picking us up after two. So she told us to call her 30 minutes before the show was gonna end. Okay, mama. Thank you. Little snack break, why not? And if you've ever gone to a stadium, you know how big they are. It took us 15 minutes to find our seats. And I was so tired that I had to buy a $6 water bottle. <laughs> My banana! I'm so mad. Back to the story. And I was so tired that I had to buy a $6 water bottle. <laughs> Wait, let me finish this right now. 13 year old me is freaking out because of the anticipation for the concert to start. Until out of nowhere, the lights get dimmed. And the man, the myth, the legend comes out. I was singing and screaming to the top of my lungs. My little heart couldn't take it. And there are three different kinds of people at an Ed Sheeran concert. The first are the fangirls, AKA me. We yell out every single lyrics and anything he says in between the songs, we'll cheer for. I love Massachusetts. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so sweaty right now. The second are the couples. You know, they're hugging and kissing, which reminds me of my non-existent love life. I try not to look at them. I ignore them. But sometimes they take the spotlight. Oh my God, is he proposing? Is he proposing? She said yes! Everybody, she said yes! Oh my God, I gotta cheer its attention too! I'm so lonely. And the third are the tryhards. They pretend to act like they know everything from the artist. And they're the ones who yell the loudest. But the minute homie starts singing, they don't know the words and they just make stuff up. But I love their enthusiasm. Uh, 
at least you tried. I was singing hit after hit, jumping, yelling, I lose my voice. It was a night I'll never forget, but not only because of the concert, cause let me tell you what happened after. Remember when I told you that my mom said to call her 30 minutes before the show was gonna end? Well, how on earth was I supposed to know that Ron Weasley was gonna wrap up? I was in the moment. So when the concert ended, that was when I realized. Oh snap, we forgot to call mommy. We call her and she gets upset that we didn't tell her sooner. Cause that was when she began to head out of the house. Our house, which is 30 minutes away. And now there's probably concert traffic, so let's add another 15. So we knew we were gonna be there for a while. When we were outside of the venue, it was dark. It was getting cold and we had to find shelter. And me and my sister find an ATM booth. You know those glass hubs with an ATM inside? Well, we found one and decided to go in and wait for our mom there. And we're chilling with a couple other people who were pretty much in the same situation. Well, anyway, we're gonna be here a while, so I guess we should get to know each other, huh? Where are you guys from? Oh, really? Me too. Where are you guys from? Here. Oh, really? Me too. Where are you guys from? In the back, on the left, over here. My left. I'm sorry? No, I'm just sorry. <laughs> and because of traffic, our mom arrives one hour later. Whoopee, another location change. The banana stain is still there. Anyways, mom arrives one hour later. She calls us and I have to wake my sister up from her nap. And the parking lot was still packed. And we're walking to the car like zombies. We were so tired. Apurense, apurense. She wasn't too happy that it was so late. But you picked us up an hour late, ma. You should have called me sooner. They always find a way to blame you. But I was still on a high from the concert, so I didn't care. I was bumping Ed Sheeran's music on my trash headphones in the back of the car. I then decided to take a nap and everything was going smoothly until out of nowhere, I hear some tires screeching and a big bang. I immediately wake up and my mom freaks out. <laughs> that some idiot driving tried to merge lanes and hit the side of our car yep ladies and gentlemen this was my first car crash oh my god oh my god i'm freaking out and we're told to get out of the car and i can confirm that when you're in a car crash the music still plays or at least in my headphones will i smile and the bright side of all of this not only were we okay but it wasn't our fault the other driver was intoxicated you know what that means right Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! But in all seriousness, don't drink and drive. It was very overwhelming, but only if we knew in the moment that it wasn't our fault. Because in a car crash, your brain goes a million miles and you just don't know what happened. But man, I would have gone full Rosa de Guadalupe on them. Oh my God, I can't feel my legs. Give me that water bottle. I'm gonna make it look like I peed on myself. We would have doubled our check like that. Full college tuition paid, all thanks to Ed Sheeran. The cops came and our car was still drivable, so we headed home with a big dent. And a week later, I start telling my friends at school what happened. Bro, so I got in a car crash after an Ed Sheeran concert. And everybody was asking questions. Dude, are you okay? Was it Ed Sheeran who hit you? Wait, what? Don't you understand how that's practically impossible? Yeah, the chances are extremely low, but not zero. <laughs> Could you imagine though? Like we're passed out in our car and out of nowhere, Mr. Ron Weasley just comes out of the other car. Damn, we'd be making way more money. Cling. Let me see if I still know some of the Ed Sheeran songs. This one not only goes out to my mom and dad, but also my parents. <laughs> 